right now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time we move on to the next set uh, that's beautiful. In today's world, many of us are always in a terrible hurry. No time to stand and stare. And there are many who can't write or type, but can actually express their thoughts very well. Quite a few also live in their own world of curiosity, looking for answers to anything and everything in an instance. For all the needs of today, voice is what is making the noise. <laughs> to hear the voice, uh, let me quickly take you to the WPP Voice Lab to meet our very own Neeraj Ruparil, the voice man of Group M WPP. As we all know, is super passionate about voice marketing and is one of the most buzzing words in the country right now in terms of voice marketing. He adds his voice to the voice. So enjoy this one of its kind, fun and interactive session with two, uh, with two camera setup and voice assistance. So Neeraj, I'll quickly hand it over to you. Excited to be here from WPP's Voice Lab from our Mumbai campus. This is an exciting section in our event when we are going to be decoding the voice box, Group M's first voice report. What's really unique about this entire report is we've collated all possible opportunities when it comes to rural India and urban India and we have placed a use case against each of these opportunities which are India specific, all deployed in India. So just to give you a perspective how voice is so unique when it comes to Indian market, it cuts across devices. So whether it's a $10 phone or a $20 phone which is now connected on internet or a pure place smartphone, we see a lot of use cases on voice which is evolving across these device sets. Alright, so today we are going to be talking to two of the most popular voices in the space of voice marketing. That's Google and Alexa. Let's have a dialogue with Alexa first. Alexa, audience wants to know how long have you been around? Well, I've been in India for around three and a half years now. I started out my journey in the US about seven years ago. Since then, it's been an amazing journey interacting with people around the globe. Fabulous. Who's your creator, Alexa? You would love to know that. I was created by Amazon. But the person who breathed life into me is Dr. Rohit Prasad. He is the head scientist at Alexa and hails from Rachi Jharkhand. Wow, that's news to me. Uh, what do Indians normally ask you? I've received a lot of love in India. Interestingly, Indians express their love around 19,000 times a day by saying, Alexa, I love you. And about 6,000 times a day by asking, Alexa, marry me. I make people laugh close to 9,000 times every day by cracking a joke. Apart from Hindi jokes, people love playing the impossible Bollywood quiz and also listening to All India Radio. Wow, that's so much love. No wonder you've broken 1 million hearts in India. How many mobile users does uh, Alexa have? There's phones from OnePlus, Xiaomi, Motorola and Sony that have Alexa inbuilt. You know what? Maybe you should ask that question to Google. Alright, uh, let me just take this up with Google. Google, could you add to this? I'm omnipresent. To be specific, I'm present on smartphones that have Android 5.0 and higher. Indian smartphone market is huge with around 500 million smartphones, out of which nearly 95% are Android. I don't want to brag, but I hope this shows how wide my reach is. While voice assistant have become a part of urban families, how vast is the adoption in rural India? Rural India is a huge opportunity for growth. That is why we partnered with Vodafone Idea to create a solution for Bharat. With a simple feature phone, Google Assistant can be accessed without the internet, simply by calling a phone number. To accelerate this adoption, we even made the service available in 9 Indian languages. Alexa, do you want to add anything here? Ha, kyo nahi. Ek interesting story hai jo main aapke saath share karna chahungi. Nagpur se kareeb 170 km dur ek chote se gaon ke school mein unhone mujhe ek teacher ke roop mein disguise kar diya. Unhone ek echo speaker ek teacher ke poshak ke saath ek putle mein dal diya. Isse seekhne ki shaili mein interactivity jud gayi aur bachcho ko padhne mein maza aane laga. Routine mein main general knowledge Maths or science se jude bachcho ke sawalo ka jawab dene lagi. 
All right, that's a very interesting use case which uh, marketers should look up to. In fact, uh, rural and in India is really upbeat, and there's some phenomenal work which is being done by marketers. I would like to call out the work which was being done for Godrej Consumer Good Night, wherein we created this Patshala experience on IVRS alone. And now we are seeing a lot of uh, connected audio opportunities also peaking up, and a lot of new solutions are getting delivered in rural markets. So, voice in rural. is something we are absolutely bullish about and in times to come we'll see tons and tons of use cases getting landed in rural on voice alexa could you give me an example of how a brand has used alexa for voice commerce brands across so many industries have been building skills to have a personal connect with their customers hmm one of the most innovative brand campaigns that i can recall is the dairy milk silk valentines day campaign i guided love birds who asked me how to go far for love I recommended romantic ideas and gestures to surprise their loved ones. I prompted them to even add dairy milk silk heart pop to their shopping cart, you know, as the perfect gift for the occasion. Can you tell me something about a typical Alexa user? That'll be good to know. According to a survey by Inmobi, a typical user is a relatively younger person for whom using voice is a way of life, especially for entertainment and information. Almost 40% of these users interact with me daily. There's a lot of talk about voice being part of the overall SEO. Can you illustrate this with a brand? Maybe you can refer the voice box. You're right about that one. Voice should be a part of a brand's overall SEO strategy. After all, voice is a preferred medium of input not just across Google search. but also across platforms such as YouTube and music streaming apps to name a few just to illustrate how big the voice search ecosystem is voice queries on search are growing at a phenomenal 270% year on year for example Royal Enfield has adopted voice search as a part of their overall SEO strategy which has resulted in better visibility of the website when end users are having conversations with Google Assistant supported devices All right so how does a brand start its journey on voice that's a pressing question coming in from all our advertisers I found out some interesting points on this in the voice box building a brand on voice is not as complex as most brand managers think of it firstly marketers should think of voice as an integral part of their marketing strategy and not just a part of checklist that should be ticked off You know, following simple guidelines such as building a brand persona and creating an actionable experience for their consumers, focusing on producing relevant and voice-friendly content can do magic for brands. There's always platform recommended agencies to help you create enchanting applications on voice. All right, that's cool. That's so insightful. Uh Google, could you tell us about some of the emerging trends that's impacting industries across different verticals? You would be surprised to know how voice technology is set to bring a makeover to many industries. For example, let's look at the healthcare industry. We are witnessing operational challenges in the healthcare industry due to COVID. Well, voice tech can be used to streamline processes such as record keeping. Also, voice tech is being used to make education more fun and engaging, especially when schools are closed and there is a need for secondary tutoring. Yeah, totally. I think uh, at WPP Foundation, we've created an interesting voice app for our underprivileged students, and the team is going to talk more about it as we go along on this event. All right, that was a super engaging session, and it was super enlightening for all of us. A lot of information for you marketers out there to go back to the drawing board and draw your strategies on how to integrate voice marketing into your media mix. With that, if you want to know more about voice marketing, please download the Voice Box, which is Group M's first voice report, which is studded with use cases that will definitely guide you towards creating more engaging and innovative voice solutions. Thank you so much. Thank you.